Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. It's Emily and I am currently in my Lego City room as you can see. Now if you saw the video last week, we completely renovated this room and I think it looks a lot better afterwards. However, um, we already trashed it, <laughs> so that's a huge issue. We've essentially been trying to clean out our guest room and all of the different closets in our house where we store all of our Lego boxes, old sets, instructions. We're trying to store anything that's Lego related in our house under the city because now we have these really nice black curtains to hide away all of the clutter. But I'm not gonna lie, I'm pretty overwhelmed by all of this. There's so many boxes in the back here and a lot of these boxes that are still built and not folded up do have sets in them. So we're gonna have to bag those up as well. But yeah, I mean, I'm kind of surprised at how much stuff we actually fit in that closet. I really don't believe it. And getting all of this stuff out of the closet probably took like two or three hours just because it was so many trips a lot of it was kind of heavy it's bulky but now we just have a huge mess in our lego city room so isn't that great anyways in this video i'm going to be organizing the lego city room kind of going through all of our really cool old sets that we have and of course showing off how we're actually organizing things along the way so anyways if you are brand new to this channel and you enjoy lego city content vlogs or live streams please do consider hitting that subscribe button down below i really do appreciate it all right <laughs> let's get going oh and before i forget make sure to stay to the end of this video for a huge announcement. I've been holding this in for a long time and I'm so excited to finally share this really exciting news with all of you. So yeah, make sure to stick around. One last, last thing. I've got my husband Ross here to help me out. That's me. All right, so I went to go pick up my sister from the airport the other day and I came back and Emily totally trashed this thing. I'm trying to be positive about it. Um, I'm really excited to see some of my old sets that I got from storage that I put away like 10 years ago. I'm thinking about empty, taking them all out of their boxes and putting them into bags and putting the bags in the bins and labeling the bins by theme and putting the bins under the table and hiding them forever. What do you think? I think that's a great plan. Cool. So let me just go over what we have in here real quick. So it's a lot of boxes, but we also have some bins that are kind of hidden underneath there with mostly bulk Lego, but also just bagged up sets. Like this one has a bunch of old sets that are in bags currently. We have this thing from Indiana Jones. There's a lot of boxes here, but the set's still in the box. Even if it is used, it's kind of bagged up within the box. And we just want to break down a lot of these to remove all that clutter. And then over here, we have a bunch of these broken down boxes. So these are like old modulars. I guess the diner, it's not that old, but it's still kind of cool. And then literally just more of it over here. I'm overwhelmed. I'm feeling pretty overwhelmed already. Not gonna lie. I guess let's start with this pile here because it's just kind of near the front of the doors. Let's just kind of break this down first. So I'm gonna start breaking down some boxes as well. I see a bunch of sets over here. We have Sonic. I don't know if I'll break that one down completely, but I also see some play sets from Doctor Strange, some Spider-Man. So I think I'll start with those. All right, so I've got a recycle bag here. I'm gonna pass it off to Ross. Catch. Good job. All right, so here's a few boxes that I just picked out. We've got Luigi's Mansion, Encanto, Doctor Strange, Boba's Palace, and Spider-Man. Gotta go break these down. Cool. We have our gunship box. This thing's massive though, and there's also some trash inside flattening it. I'm not going to get rid of this box though because it still has the Imperial logo on it. You can see that there. I don't know if they've gotten around to fixing that yet, but I feel like it's a collector's item, so I can't get rid of this. I think we can flatten and get rid of this as well. Whee! And I'm going to be honest, I don't even know what to do with the box for the at, -AT. It is massive, but I don't really want to break it down because the set's $800. So I'm just going to ignore that for now. Oh, look at this. We have a visitor. Hey, Lady Bird. How you doing? You want to help? Can you sort through these boxes for me? She just wants her dad. <laughs> How are you doing over there? All right, so Lady Bird did not indeed end up helping me sort these boxes, but I'll show you everything that's here. So this is stuff from the new Friends Wave, the food trucks. Some older Star Wars stuff. Ooh, the chess set. That was one of my first Harry Potter sets, actually. Uh, Bad Batch, Mario. Ooh, the Friends Apartments, getting rid of that one. The Creator 3 in 1 Ferris Wheel. Friends Modular Building. Buildable figures. Mario, some other stuff down there. Mostly just play sets, honestly. Some Ikea Big Lick. Yeah, there's a lot here that we're finally getting rid of. I basically went through and got rid of half of the boxes that were over in this corner. So that actually feels really good. I've made some progress. And Ross just brought me a few more boxes just to go through them, make sure that I am okay with getting rid of these. So Hedwig, I'm fine with that. 
some Mario, Star Wars. This all looks okay. Yeah, this looks good. We got a bunch of Mickey and Friends down here. What is this one? Ah, it's like our cake topper. He wants to get rid of this. How dare he? Yeah, we can recycle these. That's fine. But not this one. I can't believe he wanted to get rid of this. That was our cake topper box. All right, so all those boxes earlier, I just put them out just to take out to recycling later. But now for the AT80 AT box. I don't want to get rid of this. And it also has all the instructions on top just so I don't lose them. It's a full set. But the issue is I can't take it around the back of the city because there's not enough room back there. And all of this under here is already full. So I'm going to have to organize all of this first and then find a nice home for it under the table. <laughs> Wish me luck. That was actually way easier than I thought it would be. Okay, cool. And because it's not actually part of the backlog, I'll put it in a little bit deeper, but here's kind of where that ended up. And then here's kind of my backlog. Yo, check out what I found. It's Star Wars set 7675, classic. Check out these on the back. I have all of them. Really? Oh yeah. Oh, that's pretty cool. Great time for Lego Star Wars. Rhino and Sandman super villain team up. Obviously got this one for the figs. I do like the little construction stuff. Maybe we could actually use like this little crane to put it around the city and have some construction going. It was an awesome way to get the Sandman and most importantly, Scarlet Spider. I don't really care too much about keeping this box. So I'm gonna just dump the whole set in a bag. Check out that crane. Oh, that's pretty cool. All right, so this one, awesome set. It kind of came out in uh, Mandalorian. I think they showed it uh, in one of the episodes, the one where they break out the prisoner. Uh, they kind of souped it up, but this is the Magna Guard Starfighter. Super cool set. One of two sets that you can actually get these Magna Guard figures with. Kind of weird, because it came out in episode three, but for some reason they don't like to make sets based off of episode three. What I do want to do, like I did with the other sets, wash them and then rebuild them. But at the time, I uh, I didn't expect to leave them in storage this long. You know, I just put them in a box and put them in storage. And then life happens. And ended up being in storage for like 10 years. And I think the storage unit actually flooded. So some of these boxes got like wet with the Lego in them. So they got all gross and dirty. I will say there doesn't seem to be any real harm to the pieces. Interestingly enough, they've made like three versions of this one. So this one isn't as kind of cool as the other ones just because of that. And I think the newer ones stand better, but still pretty cool. Let's see. You leave it like that and you can put these little bombs on. Like this. You lock wow. them in, and then you wow. drop them. And it's cool. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was a really fun feature. All right, this one is super cool. So this is Count Dooku Solar Sailor. I believe it was a Toys R Us exclusive. It says limited edition. R.I.P. Toys R Us. Super cool. Awesome. This is the way you get the other two Magna Guards. So like oh, I said, awesome. it only came out in two sets. And this was it. Really excited. I remember this set being a little overpriced when it came out, but maybe because it's Toys R Us exclusive or something. Maybe the big pieces. Ah, rip. Rip. I think I changed this hair piece out so it would look a little less cartoony, but there's pretty much the only Count Dooku I have. Because they made a new lightsaber piece for him. So I only ever made a special lightsaber piece for Count Dooku and Asajj Ventress that I can remember. Which is a shame because like a lot of the other characters have really intricate lightsaber hilts. Okay, so check this one out, Emily. This one's like, this is 2007. So this is around the year when they started making the figures um, flesh tone instead of just yellow. Oh, but nice. take a look at the box. You can kind of tell it actually has texture. Oh, what? Yeah, so that's super cool. Really yeah. like it. It has this really ugly looking Jabba the Hutt. Um, and it's great. It comes with the desert skiff and the Sarlacc pit. Boba Fett, literally everything in that scene that you need to recreate it. And back in the day, they'd have like alternate builds so you can make the, the weird fish from Phantom Menace. Oh, that's so uh, cool. You could essentially make Jabba's Palace. I never even really thought about that, but that looks just like Jabba's Palace. Yeah. Or a sailboat, why not? When Lego Star Wars kind of turned over anew and started putting more intricate pieces in, it was really cool. I don't think it's in here. Let's see if we open it up. What? Oh, <laughs> Indiana Jones set. Oh my gosh. <laughs> okay. What's Is there it? anything in there? Another Indiana Jones set. What? And another oh Indiana God. Jones set. That's too oh, much. Oh, this is a cool set. I think I got two of these. Super cool. World War II. The rest of these sets come from the uh, Indiana Jones and the Crystal Skull. Super cool. They're fighting the Russians in South America. 
Yeah, this is the treat cutter one. We saw these at Bricks and Minifigs about a month or two yeah. ago. Yeah, they had the whole wave. Yeah. It was pretty cool. This is a really cool wave. What was this? This is 2008. So this is the uh, AAT. This is the second time Lego made an AAT. I thought it was really oversized. A lot of people still prefer this one, but I like it when it's more to scale. It's still really cool. I already built this one back when we got this out of storage just because I wanted to have all four AATs. So I wanted to like put them in a drawer and compare them, but Emily made me put them away. Sorry, Ross. We got another limited edition IRP Toys R Us set. Rip. This is going to be the Separatist Spider Droid. They made this a couple times, but this is the first time they did it. Super cool set, but I think the main draw to it is that it came with Commander Fox, and he's one of the three Phase 1 Commanders that came out in this wave. You had Commander Cody, I guess Captain Rex, and Commander Fox. He's worth a ton. Really happy I have this one. All right, so now this is the Republic Fighter Tank. I find it really interesting that LEGO's made this now, coming up on the third time. There's going to be a new one later this year. It's weird because this tank was never in anything canon, so it's pretty interesting, but I guess it's the only vehicle you can really think of, like a tank for the, the Republic that's not super big, like a ATTE or something. So that's probably why they're drawn to remaking this. This one was massive. Even when this came out, I thought it was way too big. I really like the 2017 version. The 2022 version looks all right. It kind of looks like a junior set, I guess, but the figs are really all we're getting them for. All right, so this one's the Malevolence, which is like one of the capital ships in Star Wars Clone Wars. Kind of a lie that we have this one, because I actually got this one probably about a year ago at Bricks and Minifigs. So this isn't part of my original collection as a kid. I think this one came out in 2012, and by then I wasn't really collecting Star Wars. I kind of moved on to college and maybe i think i only really collected a few like marvel sets at the time super happy to have it it looks really nice on display with everything else and i think it's pretty much the only time we'll ever get a separatist like capital ship like this wow this box is terrible i have mixed feelings about opening this one uh, just because yeah the box is just completely crushed i let this box down this was revenge of the sith uh so i think this came out around 2005 um, which again is probably around the time when they started doing the flesh tones stuff. Set was really cool. I think the coolest thing about this set uh, is the fact that Mace Windu actually lights up. So you press down on his head and his lightsaber lights up. Oh, that is cool. And then on top of that, it came with this cool uh, scout trooper, Kashyyyk trooper. Is and... that glow in the dark? No, it looks it looks glow in the dark. Oh, okay. but no, it's not. Uh, really cool tank. I like the wheels, wheels on it. And stuff. Yeah, That's so neat. Wheels. So let's take a look. Oh gosh, I'm scared. Yeah, me too. Whoa. Yeah, that thing's been through some better days, huh? <laughs> this box is terrible. <laughs> you see that? Yeah. You can actually see there's not a lot of substance to the set itself. Like it's just, you know, a bunch of plates and supports. Yeah. I thought it was really cool because it had this cool, like, uh, little spring mechanism. So it, it was really good at off-roading. It's just the, the tires didn't have a lot of traction, but the... Suspension is great. The Milano. I remember getting this one in college. Everybody yeah. judging me. People judge you? Oh, heck yeah. Why? Because I got Lego <laughs> in college. So this is kind of a mix of a few of the Guardians of Galaxy sets. I think I just put them all in the same box. But this is the Nova Core ship oh, that's going to be yeah. in Epcot. That's so neat. Yeah, that'll be really cool to see it there when it's done. No. No. All the figures I have are in display set cases already, or in a bag. So this is from when they're on the Celestial's head in the mining thing. So they go around and use the arms. Pretty cool. It's actually had comic books to go oh, with it. That's cool. Um, they need to keep doing that. That's such a fun idea. Yeah. I mean, it was great they did it for the comics. I think this is another exclusive one. Oh, man. What do we have here? All right, so 7675. Teased it earlier when I found some of the instructions. You hear the crunching? Uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, God. What? Almost lost this guy. <laughs> I think they need to be washed a little bit. I wasn't expecting to find any clone troopers in here. Six clone troopers. Seven clone troopers. Eight clone troopers. Nine clone troopers. Pilot or oh, gunner nice. in here. So, 11 clone troopers. Something cool about this is it's actually compatible with the, the dropship, which we'll get to later. So you pick it up like that and deploy it into battle. Oh, that's cool. So cool. <laughs> I'm glad I was alive for this. Feel bad for a lot of the younger, like the Star Wars fans who weren't able to get any of these, not even a chance. Yeah. No, they're so expensive now, too. Yeah. And there is a rumor that this set's being remade, at least this 
Tank is being remade later this year. All right, so this is a legendary set. 7676 Republic Attack Gunship. Uh, this one's super cool. I already built this one when we got the set, but of course comes with Phase 1 Commander Cody. Uh, Saz Ventress, I was talking earlier, they got the curved lightsaber pilts. Plo Koon, which was super cool, had like a really interesting plastic mold going on. Obi-Wan, another clone trooper. Really cool set, yet again. I think this one's kind of my favorite rendition of the Republic gunship. You have this one on display right now, right? Mm -hmm. yeah, so. Is there anything in the box? No, this one's empty. So with all of these boxes so far that we've gone through, are you planning on keeping them or are we recycling them? I want to keep any of these old Clone Wars boxes. I'm keeping them in too much to me. Real quick on this one. This one is a pretty cool DC set. I'm glad I got it because it came with Deathstroke. I remember like at the time thinking like, eh, I don't know, I don't want to spend the money on this. But I don't think like it was made Deathstroke figure since then. So I'm glad I did get this. This is also back when they had like these weird like jumping pieces that they would put in there oh, so you can make weird. them fly they stopped doing it though because it was actually cracking the back of their um legs oh really so yeah i don't recommend you actually using them <sighs> all right so this big boy i don't oh, even know man. if i want to take it out of the box or not I insane am. right 16 normal battle droids two security battle droids two pilot droids wow that's so many droids in this yeah, droid i think also came with it so here's the chassis of the whole thing. And from what I remember, it actually glided pretty smooth. Let's try it out. Whoa. So it glides pretty well. And then you spin this, and that's what deploys them. Oh, that's so cool. It opens out. Cool. Are you going to rebuild it? Oh, yeah. I'm planning on rebuilding all of this once you let me get a place to put it in. Yeah. <laughs> battle droids. I'm going to leave the normal battle droids, but I'm going to pick out the super battle droids. Um, get those cleaned up. Those are really delicate. You know, I was seeing something on Reddit the other day. They haven't made a super battle droid in seven years. Really? Can you believe that? That's actually kind of crazy. Yeah. So here's some of the old sets back in the day. So this is around the time of the 30th anniversary of Star Wars. Wow, it's been so long. These right here, legendary. The first two battle packs. I remember begging my mom for these. They marketed it as if it was like this limited edition thing. Oh, really? Um, and, you know, this was like nothing else I had seen before, like a Star Wars do. So I thought like, you had to get them immediately. But then, yeah, they were just retail sets. Alrighty, Ross, what's next? Another legendary set. Set 7674. Woo! If I'm not mistaken, I think I already went through this one. Oh, yeah? And cleaned it up. And bagged it. Wow, good look job. at you go. Passed her off. Coming in close. Nice. Yeah, that, that was easy. Yeah, that was a good one. Cool. And that's seven. I already cleaned this one. Are you going to build it and display it? I would love to, yeah. So this one's really hard to display in attack position because that wing comes down. Yeah. But it's cool. You can see it has hydraulics built into it. So when the, the wing's really heavy, so when it falls down, the hydraulics slow it oh, a little cool. bit. Awesome set. So there was like a rumor that they were going to remake this set years and years ago. Never happened? That around the time of Rogue One. And yeah, just never happened. Wow. All right, everyone. So this is my favorite LEGO Star Wars set of all time. Probably the best LEGO Star Wars set of all time. This is the Republic Dropship with ATOT. Um, I remember when this was like announced in like 2010, I want to say somewhere around there. And I could not believe it. I was like, what? You're making this set? And... <laughs> You know, the, the play feature of all play features is the fact that this latches on to that. And it works on the ATTE that also came out that we showed earlier. Probably the best set ever. It came with, I want to say, uh, it came with two clone pilots, not to be confused with clone commanders, and six clone troopers. So it was a good way to get extra clone troopers. Build your too. army. Yeah, build your army. I already built the Republic dropship and it's in the other room, but uh, that was the first thing I rebuilt, but I wish I hadn't because I, I wish I had cleaned it before building it. So I might dismantle it and do it again. It deserves that. Yeah. So then this is the ATOT, which you never really saw in the movies. I think you saw it in Revenge of the Sith for a second in Felicia, but you never actually see the dropship bringing it down. So it's kind of an interesting choice that they went with, but I'm not complaining. Alrighty, so that's pretty much everything of Ross's that had the sets in the boxes. And after they were all emptied out, 
we put them here so we just added quite a few to the box collection which is kind of overwhelming but we're just gonna hide these under the city later on now we have this whole pile of sets that are new in box so i'm gonna put those under in this kind of general area under the city and we actually have a few more new in box lego sets in my office that i will bring in here later on but for now i'm just gonna put those away just to like reduce all of this crazy clutter everywhere there we go i'm just gonna leave those in the bin for now but later on i'll probably like organize them a little bit better oh so check this out there's gotta be probably close to a thousand dollars which is almost embarrassing thousand dollars worth of figures of marvel and dc figures i have in this bag really yeah i guess what? uh let us know down below if we should make a, a video just cataloging all of our marvel and dc figures like it's a lot like there's my red hulk Oh, wow. Um, Iron Fist. Yeah, definitely leave me a comment down below if you want to see more of this. That's so cool. Oh, okay. So down here we have some of the Target Lego exclusives. These are like giant minifig accessories, but like as actual plastic, they're not like actual Lego. They're so cool. Like you can kind of see the wand up close here. You can like hold it. These are so neat. So I'm just going to put these into a pile somewhere under the city. I'll find a good home. All right. So I think this is like a decent enough home for them. I think at some point I might like organize the underside of the city a little bit better. But this is what it's looking like so far. Ross is moving these in. There we go. Yeah, it's getting kind of tight under this. Wow. And then really all that's left are these bigger bins, just like random little trinkets and stuff from the guest room closet that we have. Bins, bags, just all these boxes need to go somewhere. There we go. And it's hidden away. All right, well, I think that pretty much sums everything up. I am so happy with how this room is looking now. We've definitely created some extra work and projects for ourselves, but I really enjoy this kind of thing. Like the whole Lego organization type of thing is really fun and relaxing for me. Maybe for you. That was really stressful. Okay, maybe it was a little overwhelming just seeing this giant mess, but putting it all away where it belongs in its new home under our city was actually really fun. And at this point, the biggest project we have now is just figuring out where these boxes go. And we've left these bins here just to kind of keep the boxes in place. They're kind of like a book stand for us right now. And so if you've made it this far in the video, please do comment below and let me know what your favorite set was from Ross's old retired Lego Star Wars collection or any other Lego sets you were interested in. We kind of focused on the Star Wars here because that's a majority of the collection, but do let us know what you think down below. Is it time for an announcement? Oh yeah, almost forgot. What did you just put together here, Ross? That is the front gate to Legoland. And that's actually relevant because Legoland New York is actually gonna be flying us up there very soon to host us there, stay in the hotels, check out the park. And it's all part of this preview event leading up to the grand opening in early April. So we are pumped. We'll be there for April 1st. So maybe they'll have new sets there. Oh yeah. Maybe? Maybe some new sets while we're there. The DeLorean. Ah, maybe we'll be able to pick that one up there. So yeah, we're really excited. There'll be a bunch of vlogs and content coming from that so definitely stay tuned we're super excited i've never been to new york <laughs> no that's so north and i love legoland so i am really <laughs> excited i think it's gonna be an awesome trip so thank you so much to legoland new york and with that thank you everyone so much for watching we really do appreciate it and also again if you're new to this channel please do consider hitting that subscribe button down below thanks for watching and we'll see you next time